with trains again. If you saw part one you'll see I was uh, playing with the train tech sound system and I had it in a TTA tanker wagon. I'm now trying it in other things and uh, the next obvious one to try was uh, various wagons. So I've taken a couple of examples. This is an MEA mainline Backman again wagon and uh, you can see what a good fit it is. I haven't got the battery in at the moment, I'll put that in shortly. So I just wanted to show you how well they fit in these and to show you also what I have been using for loads which then fits on top of it and that's what I'm using at the moment and just something I've discovered recently. When the uh, shed roof was done this is the roofing felt and the piece over cut a piece to size and I think it looks pretty realistic. Obviously you could use anything but that's what that one is. You could use either side but I think that one's more realistic. That's a thinner one which is uh, not so heavy duty but again that's quite realistic and that's a piece of that cut out which you could also use. So it fits perfectly on that one as you can see. Then I tried it on the uh, Hornby Hopper HAA Hornby Hopper fits just as well in there. In that goes same sensor on the other end. And again, I've used a piece of this again cut to size. It's not quite the same size as the other one. And then it just squeezes down nicely around it. And the job's done on that one. And again, it works just as well. And then the other one I tried was I've got some of these uh, Backman. I think these are Railroad EWS. Again, fits just as well in there. Piece of that cut to size. And I did try these as well. You, you know the plastic ones you can get. And even that does fit if it's squeezed down. So all those three examples work just as well as the, as the system did with the tanker. So the other thing uh, I wanted to try was a coach. And this is my coach. And all what's left of it because I've had the old um, <laughs> the old trusty hacksaw has been out again and what I've done is this is an old mainline uh, coach and I've taken a piece off the inside and the piece I've taken off is across there I have it here somewhere so I can show it you and the piece I've taken off was there. So that end piece as you can see I've sawn that right through. That's come away and that's left exactly the right size for this. And if I show you the top you can see that there's a space there along the top there you can see that there's a space there where it's actually down the side where the motion sensor fits perfectly and the rest just sits on there. It could actually be fixed obviously with uh, glue or tape or whatever but for the purposes of just this just showing you how this one works it will actually just sit there. I haven't put the battery in yet I'll do that in a minute but as you can see that just sits in there. You can see that from the top. And put that on and it does then just let me put the top back on as it is. And there we are. Okay, now we'll try it with the uh, with the sound. And of course, this would work with any coach that you can open up easily enough. And uh, 
to make room for it inside. I've just used this old mainline one, but literally any coach where you can fit this in, this could be done. And of course, while it's open, I could actually uh, put some passengers in there and even do the lighting strip. Put it put it back together. It would have passengers, sound and lighting all at one go. So I'll put the sound in, and uh, we'll put this back in. Last word from me on this one, just a big, big thank you to everybody that subscribed. I really, really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next video, and it'll probably be on sound in the station. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.